in systemic bacteriology, the next in alphabetical order, the next letter is P. If you remember, we just completed Proteus and now we will start with Pseudomonas. Pseudomonas is really one of my favorite topic. And you know why? Many people know why, because I always bring this, uh, who? Your Ekta Kapoor. I always bring Ekta Kapoor here. So the reason why I bring Ekta Kapoor here, now you'll understand. Okay. See, first of all, uh, Ekta Kapoor. So Ekta Kapoor fans, please forgive me. This is just only for remembering the Pseudomonas thoroughly without any mistake. Okay. It is so easy. So Ekta, why the word Ekta came? Because of this disease, Ekthima gangrene also. Many times repeated question in gangrene, gangrene. No, so gangrene also, okay. Ah, okay, ectima gangrene also, number one. And then this girl, uh, it, that's the first reason. Second one, ecta kapu means it's of everything, you know, colorful, good smell, and all those things comes. Next, uh, uh, she's good smell because Solomon Sarginosa has what? Fruity order. Fruity order. This is also a question. Fruity order. A special smell example your uh proteus has very seminal smell very pungent seminal smell but this one has very good smell okay so remember so that's one of the important thing pretty order and another one is good smell next one is uh colorful well, everything is colorful so let's start from uh the uh, eyes see first of all she wears a lot of contact lens so she gets conjunctivitis conjunctivitis right and then anything is colorful with her i told you right anything is colorful so, pus is blue pus, and she puts a lot of nail polish, green nail, green nail, she has it. What about a ear? If you see her ear, she puts so many ornaments in her ear, right? She puts a lot of, if you see her ear, it's pierced, so many things are pierced. And of course, because of that, what she will get? She will get what? Malignant otitis externa, malignant otitis externa. Also, not only that. She loves what? Swimming pool. She always likes to swim. So she gets what? Swimmer's ear. Ekta Kapoor gets what? Swimmer's ear. Okay? Swimmer's ear. Okay? And then, she her favorite spot is Shanghai. She loves to go to Shanghai. And what she gets there? Shanghai fever. Shanghai fever. Don't forget. This was also a question asked. Okay? And then, uh, also, uh, this one, swimmers here, you know, swimmers, swimming pool, sometimes because Zakushi, it's a bit warm water, uh, you know, it's like a swimming pool thing, Zakushi. So that's what they also call it, Zakushi syndrome. Zakushi syndrome. So she loves swimming pool. Ekta Kapu likes swimming pool, she gets swimmers here, and she goes to Shanghai, and gets Shanghai fever. And uh, did I forget something? Yes. Her favorite, what is her profession? Of course, she's, uh, she's in the cinema movie set, right? Cinema or movie set. Set. She's in the set. So, uska special agar kya hai? Cetrimide agar. Cetrimide agar. Okay. Do you now, do you say why? Now, now you guys understand, right? Why I kept Ekta Kapoor? So, with Ekta Kapoor, you are not going to make any mistake in Sodomas Arishnas. This is very frequently asked question here. Now, let's start the topic now. Okay. These are the uh, Bhagavad's things to remember your Sodomas Arishnas. Huh? Now, let's go with the important point. When the pseudomonas comes, one thing you have to remember, oxidase positive. This is oxidase positive. Remember, oxidase positive. Okay. And catalase also positive. And it's a nil fermenter. Nil fermenter. This comes in nil fermenter. Your produce also nil fermenter. Pseudomonas nil fermenter. But remember, pseudomonas doesn't come in enterobacteriaceae family. The reason it's oxidase positive. You, you know that it should be oxidase negative to be an enterobacteriaceae family. So that's what it is not in the enterobacteriaceae family. Okay. But it's a nil fermenter. That means in the Mekongi agar, it's with a pale color colony. That's the thing. Now let's go to next. So this is a question. Oxidase positive frequently asked. Oxidase positive, not only this. We have to also told you, even your Vibrio and Aeromonas. Aeromonas are also positive. So, Romanus and uh, uh, Vibrion, Aeromonas, all are oxidase positive, right? Okay, now virulence factor. We talk about the virulence factor, which is the one, which uh, that uh, Pseudomonas, uh, the toxin, Pseudomonas toxin, which one it inhibits which factor? You remember, you know already, what is that factor? EF2 factor, EF2 elongation factor. This is also seen in quantum diphtheria, if I remember, that's also a question, elongation factor, okay? Elongating, Ekta Kapoor is elongation, okay? Elongation factor, okay? Yeah. Now, and oh yeah, one more thing I forgot. She is a slim girl. Don't forget your Ekta Kapoor is a slim girl. She is very slim. She is a slim beauty. Apart from all these things, she is also what? She smells good and also she is a slim girl. Slim girl. Okay. That, that's what I, I mean to say. That slime layer. Slime layer is characteristic for your Pseudomonas. Okay. 
Now rest all you know. It's the most common cause of contact lens ulcer. Yeah, when you talk about bacteria perspective, this is the most overall. So it's the most common cause of corneal ulcer is your uh, who the ectocarpal pseudomonas aeruginosa contact lens wear alpha. But even parasite, it is acanthamoeba. If you remember, okay, that's acanthamoeba in parasite will study in the para in bacteriology overall the most common cause of corneal ulcer, especially in contact lens user is pseudomonas aeruginosa. Okay, now what is this picture? You see pus is drooping out, right? And it's in the external layer. So this is your it is just your otitis externa, especially here we're talking about malignant, malignant otitis externa. And this is especially common with diabetic patients, right? This question is so frequently asked. In your ENT, you can see this very much, it's repeated, many times repeated question. Okay, now in here, here that's what, this is the one, malignant, malignant, uh, uh, malignant otitis externa, this one, this condition. Also, I already told you, swimmers here. Your swimmers here, okay, and uh, pseudomonas is very common infection in your ventilator associated pneumonia. Hospital acquired infection may be either UTI or it's your ventilator associated pneumonia. This is very, very, very common, common infection, okay. UTI, you know, more common, but you overall most common is equally, but in catheterized patients, this is common because you know, we already spoke with the slime layer biofilm is very common with pseudomonas. So, in UTI, catheterized unitic infection, common pseudomonas become very important. Meningitis, yes, it can cause meningitis, but what is that fever I told? Shanghai, Shanghai. Shanghai, Agatha, don't think too much. Shanghai, when Shanghai jata hai, your ekta kapur goes, Sudaman Sarjinos, and she goes and gets Shanghai fever. Like that's there. You remember other fever, Malta, Mediterranean, Malta fever, Mediterranean fever, Undulant or Uganda, Undulant, Undulant, I told you from Uganda. These all comes under Brusella. So we can talk about fevers, okay? So there, these are named fevers, named fevers. Now, when you talk about Shanghai fever, it is your pseudomonas. Who goes to Shanghai? Ekta Kapur goes to Shanghai, and that is your pseudomonas arginosa. Ekthima, see this ekthima, the word came. See, I, I was always saying you, because this ekthima, it is important. Ekthima gangrenosum. Ekta Kapur gangrenosum. Ekta, ekthima, ekta. It sounds same, okay? So remember that she is really a thanks to Ector Kapoor because she has made pseudomonas very easy to remember. Okay. Now Zakuji syndrome is a hot of polyglitis. That's what. What she does in uh, in uh, Shanghai, she goes into hot Zakuji and say enjoys. And then she gets what? Hot of polyglitis. Also question. Not the swimming pool, uh, not the swimming pool granuloma. Swimming pool, uh, swimming pool fish tank granuloma seen in marinum. Uh, Mycobacterium marinum. So don't confuse that's Mycobacterium marinum. Okay. Now, what other things you see? As I told you. It can be blue nail or green nail, a green pus or blue pus, doesn't matter. Okay, green or blue pus, whatever it is. Anything colorful comes, that is your Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Okay, that's it. Now, this is associated with both Pseudomonas and the uh, back areas. So, one more question frequently asked is in the burns patient, which is the most common infection, Pseudomonas. Of course, Ekta Kapoor in the uh, movie said, you know, she get accident, fall into fire or whatever, and she gets the burns. So burns with this most common, followed by uh, staph are used. And in cystic fibrosis also, both are common, staph and pseudomonas. And in chronic granuloma disease also, both are common, important. And also don't forget, both are pigment producing. Example, pseudomonas, I will talk about the pigments in a while, okay? That's also a common feature for both staph. Pseudomonas pus, smell, I already told you. Pus, how does it smell? It smells of fruity order. Fruity order. Okay, you got it, fruity order. Now, this is the one. See, this is the, uh, the, the, this is somewhat, the pigment is less here, but you see this green color pigment, greenish yellow color pigment. These type of uh, pigments, no, this is very, very common for your pseudomonas. Pseudomonas produce pigment, okay? So what are the pigments? You have, uh, what are the things common? You see here, the shining part, that is the metallic sheen. You see your metallic, of course, Ekta Kapoor shines, metallic sheen or that, and she has pigment. So uh, these are the pigments, pyocyanin, pyoveldin, rubin. Pyocyanin produces what? Somewhat bluish green. Bluish green pigment is produced by pyocyanin. Pyoveldin is yellow. It's yellow, greenish yellow or yellow, whatever. Yellowish, the word yellow should come. Okay, yellow is greenish yellow. Pyorubin red, rubin red. We have rubin red. V, V, V is like white, so yellow. Cyanin, you know, cyanin means blue color. So it's a bluish green color. Okay, pigment. So what are other pigment producing bacteria? If they ask, don't forget, yeah, there are at least three bacteria you remove pigment producing. One is your staph aureus. Staph aureus, what color it produces? You know, it's a gold color, golden yellow pigment, right? And then this pseudomonas is one. The other one is a serratia. Serratia, which produces what color? Red color, red color pigment, red, red. Okay, red, R, E, D, red. So, S for R, R for red. Okay, so these are the three bacteria that are producing pigment. Okay, just for remembrance. Selective media, already told you, Ekta Kapoor's favorite place is movie set. So, kya ho gaya? Set to mind. 
cetrimide. Cetrimide is the certain medium. And the beta hemolytic colonies and meconchia agar, this is a lactose fermenting colony. So, it's just pale color. You get pale color colonies. That's okay. That's not that important. Just, you know, when nil fermenters, pseudomonas comes into nil fermenter. Okay. Now, drug of choice, septazidine, you must know, many times repeated, because uh, TAS, give a TAS. Whenever there is a pseudomonas, give a TAS or give TAS to ecta kapur. Ekta ke liye give a task. Ekta kapur ke liye task de do. Bas, task. Give a task. Okay. Ekta kapur is pseudomonas arginosa. And argumentin also can help. Okay. That's it. Now, burgolderi or pseudomonas. So, pseudomonas we have finished. Now, the pseudomonas friends, you know, which, which is the, the properties almost, they look like pseudomonas. Though those are called, uh, those bacteria are burgolderi. So, burgolderi we have pseudomonas and malai. But the dangerous one is pseudomalai. Remember pseudomalai. Okay. Pseudomalai ka kiasi yaad karna hai. It's always called bit more because aapko pata hai pseudomalai is also white in color. Yeah. Uh, true malai to hello na chahiye. Pseudomalai. You know, see, in Hindi malai is the cream, the milk cream, right? The cream, cream. Cream to real to aapko hello shu na chahiye. Ye to pseudo hai. So fake hai. Fake malai. Fake malai ke kaun se color? White color mein hoot hai. Fake malai is white color. Real hoga to it should be what yellowish in color. So remember like that. Okay. Malai, fake malai is white color. That's what it's called with more bacillus. Number one. Now abhi kya kya hona chahiye? It's a similar to pseudomonas, except most important thing is it has a bipolar or safety pin appearance. That's it. Bipolar or safety pin appearance, pseudomala. One thing. Next one is that whenever you use fake malai kaane mein apko kya kya aata hai? Ek to apko melody aata hai. Melody aata hai. That's good. But rest all are dangerous. What are dangerous? Because it's like a bomb. It's like a time bomb. It's like a time bomb. It's a terrorism. Terrorism. Time bomb. Terrorism. And it can turn everything into ashes. Everybody, if you, if you put a bomb, what happens? Every the whole city will turn into ashes. When you eat the fake malay, pseudo malay. Okay. This is a shortcut to remember. Fake malay, pseudo malay. Okay, but main thing is that pseudomalai bipolar safety pin appearance. Okay, it causes melidosis, melidosis, and it's also called Vietnam time bomb. Vietnam time bomb. That's called time bomb. Time bomb. Vietnam. Vietnam time bomb. And then bioterrorism. So it should always process in a biosafety level three that we will talk in the bioterrorism. And selective media. I told you, Ashman. Pseudomalai kaane mein kya hota hai? Everything burns, bomb and burns. So that becomes the ash down. Remember, okay. That becomes the ash down. Ash. Ash comes here. Okay. Ash comes in the this thing. That uh, it's the excuse me. So ash down media. So these are the selective medias for a uh, selective ash down media for uh, your uh, so, uh, for your burgolderia pseudomalai. Okay. Ne basically burgolderium grows an ash down media. Malai. Malai is basically glandus and farsi. Not much to know. Malai is like you see, remember true, true malai. True malai kiske pas hota hai? Farsi ke pas hota hai. Okay, true malai. True malai. The question, melidosis is important. Melidosis is not M for not, not always, not always M is M for M, not always A for apple. Sometimes it changes. So, melidosis is caused by pseudo malai, not malai. Many times this question has come and students have made mistakes. So, I'm stressing you again. So, here, if you have burgoldry malai argon, you remember farsi or glanders. Ma, this is a true malai. It causes glandus of farsi in horses and mules. That's it. Horses and mules. It can spread to human also. But remember, this is glandum is also glands get swollen. Lymph node, everything gets swollen. That's it. Glandus of farsi is, is your malai, real malai. Okay. Yes. Now, burgoldry is cephasi. If you say cephasi is basically causing the hospital acquired infection and also cystic fibrosis. Cystic fibrosis. C for C. Cephasi. Uh, overall, burgoldry causes in every uh, cystic fibrosis, but this is very particular. Cephasi, cystic fibrosis, and also hospital acquired infection. That's it. That's your burgoldry cephasi. Now, let's go to rickettsia. Rickettsia is very, very important again. Rickettsia, because uh, they are arthropod, uh, they, they have arthropod vectors, insects to transmit this infection. That's what they come separately. So, rickettsia along with Bartonella, Coxiella, Ehrlichia, to some extent, are important here. Now, these are the insects. These are the insects which are causing rickettsia disease. We'll talk about each, okay? It could be louse, it could be uh, mite, or it could be tick, whatever. Now, uh, already we talked about rickettsia. We told that rickettsia is an intracellular organism, intracellular parasite, like your chlamydia, okay? It's intracellular. And usually, it is transmitted by arthropod vectors, except there's exception. Who, what is the exception? Hensale. Hensale is, remember, Hansika. Hansika is, you know, she's a South Indian popular actress. Who's kept a cat? Who's kept a cat scratch? Who's kept a cat She gets cat scratch, not the insect bite. Cat scratch. Ka se hota. So, it's not a That's a question. And other one is your coxilla. Coxilla burnity. It comes from milk ingestion. If you remember, this is the coxilla burnity. is the only one that resists the 
pasteurization 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 if you remember uh, flash method hold method here pasteurization means so one which is resisting this pasteurization is your oxyla burnetti that's important okay so that's either aerosol or the milk ingestion that's question and only uh, in rickettsia from the only one which is not transmitted or in bacterial which is the only thing which is not transmitted vector is your hensale hansika hansika ka vector nahi hota vector bond nahi hota hai unke pas cat scratch they, she gets a cat scratch and she gets the disease okay very important no growth in artificial culture that's why they are separate like your chlamydia except bacterial again except bacterial can grow in some culture media but not all others cell lines of course same like your uh, chlamydia you have mccoy or hella cell lines mccoy hella cell lines okay question question okay now next one dash reaction uh, which is the reaction that's possible which i've written here dash reaction is possible which reaction can you tell me you all rickets here that is your wheel felix reaction okay wheel felix reaction wheel felix reaction wheel felix reaction is the uh, reaction we will talk and we have talked about many times so we are using the proteus antigen uh, ox2 ox90 and ox uh, k right the the first two the numbers are from proteus uh, uh, vulgaris and the two is from mirabilis we already talked about it so this question the so it's basically to diagnose the rickettsia and other one is called neil moser reaction neil moser's reaction neil moser's reaction is basically tunica reaction this is also important question what do you do you just inject the uh, inject this uh, antigen into this uh, your guinea pig mainly to guinea pig and what happen you to check for scrotal necrosis and inflammation that is positive means it could be it could be anything but here it is either type i or akari or konori but not pravasaki that's the question so which of the following doesn't give tunica uh, reaction means Pravasaki will not give. This is the question. Your uh, uh, Typhi, Akari, Konor, everything else, but the Pravasaki doesn't give. That's the question. That's the question. Okay, because must say exception. It will not give Tunica reaction or Neil Moses reaction. Fever, rash, and lymphadenopathy is common, but one disease which doesn't have Q uh, that doesn't have rashes is Q fever. We want to talk about that also. Q fever is caused by again coxella burnetti. Coxella burnetti is sort of exceptional. This vector be nahi hai, no rash, no rash, no vector. We want to talk about that now. Lymphadenopathy. So now, if you see this, this is your what you get. You see an ester, and what is this? Thrombic fluid mite. So this clue is enough for you. Can you guess what is this disease? This is an ester, and this is a mite, a thrombic fluid mite. So it is which one? Which disease should should be? Scruff typhus. Bas scruff typhus. When you talk mite, it's thrombic fluid mite. The larva, up the larva, is up the uh, thrombic fluid mite. Okay. So now see that scrub typhus. This is scrub typhus. When you talk about a scrub typhus triad, the shortcut is S L E. S for skin rash, L for lymph node, and S R. Okay, S L E. S is scrub typhus. Ka S L E. You have to remember because in India this is common. The typhus means this is the most common one. So you have you can have questions from scrub typhus. The question have two groups. Either it's a typhus group or spotted fever. We have a spotted fever or typhus group. Always for rickettsia, it's doxycycline. Doxy, doxy, doxy. That's what I mentioned this also because it's easy to remember. There is uh, the easy treatment, doxycycline. Okay. Now, typhus group, let's talk. Typhus again. We have epidemic typhus, endemic typhus, and the scrub typhus. Now, each disease. Scrub typhus. Scrub typhus is caused, uh, 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 let's start with epidemic. Epidemic means it's a big area, right? Big. So, which is the, which rickettsia causing? Rickettsia, rickettsia, prava, saki. Rickettsia, prava, saki. Okay. Rickettsia, prava, pra Provasaki. Take care. Rikesha Provasaki. Rikesha Provasaki. Little bit spelling mistake here, but doesn't mind. But you have to remember Rikesha Provasaki, number one. Fir, this ke vector case yaad karna hai. Very simple. Epidemic hai to bada hai. Big region. Big region means sabke pas baal hai. Sa, sabke pas baal hai. So baal jaad hai to amar baal mein kya hota hai? Which is the thing you get in, uh, mostly in the ladies head. What, what is that? You get the, you get the lice. Lice, right? Louse. So, Laos. Laos is the uh, vector. So, the mode of transmission is Laos, Laos fetus. Okay. So, and we'll flex me, which is positive here. This is the ox in, uh, in the uh, Rikesia Pravasaki. Rikesia, it is the 19. Same. 19 plus plus. Okay. 19 plus plus. So, uh, uh, Pravasaki, Laos, ox 19 plus plus. Endemic is caused by Typhi only. And endemic is Chota zone. Chota jaga mein kya kya hota? Jada endemic kya hota? You will have a what flea so it's flea okay flea flea through the fecus mode of transmission to the flea fecus you know fecus in the new pressing on the skin and then it just goes inside right 
those things flee. And here also aux 19 is plus plus. Aux 19 plus plus. Okay. Same. Will flix. Uh, so epi epidemic type is another name is Brillzinger's disease. Don't forget Brillzinger's disease. Brillzinger disease also important. Brillzinger disease. And endemic is by typhi. Typhi is the chota chaga. Endemic is the chota chaga. So flee. So small name, small thing. Big name, big thing. Laos, right? Laos, Pravasaki. And then please remember, Pravasaki, there is no tunica reaction. Tunica or nail moser is absent. No tunica reaction. That is the question will be asked. Say exception. So easy question, easy scoring. So don't make mistake. In Pravasaki, there is no this thing. Okay, right. Now next. Endemic is a case of typhi flea. Scrub typhus. Scrub typhus, it is the, uh, it is a scrub typhus, yes. Uh, most common in India. Among the typhus, most common in India. So this caused by Sutsu Mugusi. Sutsu Mugusi. T is a silent. Sutsu Mugushi, Mugushi, Sutsu Mugushi, okay? Okay, Rikashya Sutsu Mugushi, Sutsu Mugushi, you have to remember. It's usually also called as Shigarosis. Why is Shigarosis called? Because it is spreaded by the thrombic fluid mite larva. Thrombic fluid mite larva bite, because of thrombic fluid mite larva bite. This is very common in the UP side. Scrub type is very common in the UP side, okay? That also question, if they give you history of Uttar Pradesh, this is a patient come with a rash, and joint pain, lymphadenopathy, fever, and all, you have to think about scrub typhus. Okay. So, sugarosis, thrombic fluid mite larva. It's for scrub typhus. Please remove scrub typhus. And scrub typhus, which is positive, ox K1 is positive. K plus. K. You have 19, 2, 1 K. So, in the wheel flex reaction, ox K is positive. This is also a repeated question. Repeat. They don't ask about epidemic endemic typhus. Mostly they ask the scrub, uh, scrub typhus. So, scrub typhus, K positive. Okay. And uh, sugarosis, suchamugushi. Right. Now, spotted fever. Spotted fever, we have Rocky Mountain spotted fever, Indian tick typhus and Rickettsia fox. Let's see. So, it's very easy. Not that much to uh, uh, think. Rocky Mountain fever. The cost vision case, this question was asked. After the Rocky Mountain Cooper, jao, Rocky Mountain Cooper, ke ja ke kya you will say, kya, kya bologi? Rickettsia, Rickettsia bologi. Right? Rickettsia, Rickettsia bologi. Nice tuning, no? Rickettsia, Rickettsia. So, Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever is caused by Why do you do this? Because it's a bomb. Hai. Watch. Hai. Tick, tick, tick. Bolta hai. Tick, tick, tick. tick. Na, ye, Rocky Mountain ke niche ek alarm. Hai. Tick, 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 tick. What do you do with this? Rickettsia, Rickettsia. Kal okay? Simple. Tick, tick. Ho gaya. Ye to. Indian Tick Type is Connor. Connor is my place. Kunnur. If you remember CYNN or Kunnur, it's in OT. Close to my place. So there you have in Kunur, May, we have beautiful olden, uh, you know, the, uh, the the Britishers time, no, this lot of, you have these churches and big, big buildings there. They have what? A watch. Watch like this. Big, big watch like this, right? Big, big watches. So what this watch, kya bolta hai? Watch mein? Tick, tick aata hai. Tick, tick. Got it? India mein Kunur hai. India mein Kunur hai. Kunur mein humare paas ek bada church hai. Or building se buildings ko upar kya hota hai? Ek watch hota hai. Or Tick, 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 bolta hai. Okay. Kunur mein tick, tick, watch So, it's by this thing. In both the cases, Rock and 19 plus and 2 plus, both are positive. Ox 19 and 2 is positive, positive. Okay. They haven't asked much, but still remember. There is only 19, 19 and K. Uh, scrub type is especially K. But in uh, all the spotted fever, you have 19 to both are positive. Okay. Now, next is Akari. Akari is caused by Amara uh, Pox. Pox ka uh, Akari and Akari. So sad. This Akari is so sad. Akari got a pox. So he is a bichari. Akari is a bichari. Why bichari? This mighty Akari is a bichari. Why be bichari? Why say uh, uh, bichari? Because do no negative. All negative. Bichari because bichari because all negative. Bichari because all negative. Remember, okay? Akari has a pox. So he become a bichari. So uske pa sab negative hai. Nothing is there. Okay. So remember that way. See, these are the questions you will make mistake. And examiners know that you will make mistake in this only because everything, you know, sounds similar and makes similar. So you, you remember like this, that, you know, even if you don't have time for revision there in the exam hall, when you sit, you remember that Dr. Sankush Ekbar Bola tha, India mein kurno hai, kurnoor mein ek tik tik watch tha. Rocky mountain hai, mountain ke niche, bomb uh, watch, uh, time bomb laga hua tha, bomb uh, tik tik bol raha tha, uska wajah se uh, help ke liye rikertshya, rikertshya bol raha tha. Akari to bichari hai, uska pa, uska pox aage, uska wajah se sab negative ho gaya, wheel felix mein. Finished? Rikertshya ho gaya? 
That's it. Nothing to think too much here. Okay, got it. Okay. Then, अभी तो cat scratch अभी भी next we go to the button वाला. Cat scratch just note. किसका cat scratch आता है? Your your favorite कौन है? Who is your favorite girl? Hansika. Hansika gets a cat scratch. मैं दोबारा दोबारा बोल रही हूँ. Hansika gets the cat scratch. Hansika. Hansika का आता है cat scratch. That means button वाला हंसाले. ये angiomatosis किसको आता है? In HIV patient. Angiomatosis भी याद कर लो. Uh, no vector. Just cat scratch. That's what we told. When you talk about uh, all these things, you don't have batonella. There is no vector. So uh, angiomatous pata hai na. This is this is usually females. Females ka na the uh, the hansika or hansika or queen hai na queen quintana queen. In dono ka aise skin me na skin me. It is chota chota spots hota hai. Aise 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 angio. Okay, angiomatous both is ka angiomatous spots hota hai. उसके लिए क्या करते हैं दोनों लेजर करते हैं ठीक है लेजर का छोड़ दे फॉर टू लुक गुड सो जस्ट रिमेम्बर एंड योर स्मॉल स्मॉल स्पॉट्स होता है एज ए सेलिब्रिटीज है ना ए हंसिका क्विंटाना क्वीन इन लोगों के ऐसे एंजियोमेट्रिस स्पॉट्स होता है सो उसका ब्यूटीफुल करने के लिए दे डू व्हाट लेजर ऐसे याद कर लो इट्स वेरी इजी सो इसकी बेसिकली एंजियोमेट्रिस आगे तो कैसे क्या है अरे एंजियोमेट्रिस तो ठीक है वो तो रेड कलर स्पॉट था तो रेड कलर किसका था एक तो एक्ट्रेस हंसिका था दूसरा था क्वीन था बस हो गया यू फिनिश यू गॉट अ इजी वन क्वेश्चन आंसर राइट वेरी वेरी सिंपल नेक्स्ट इज ट्रेंच फीवर ट्रेंच फीवर किसको ट्रेंच आता है मैंने बोला था क्वीन ऑलवेज गेट ट्रेंच क्वीन गेट्स ट्रेंच क्वीन है ना क्वीन कोई भी क्वीन है ब्रिटिश क्वीन नॉर्वे क्वीन कोई भी क्वीन है इंडिया क्वीन हु ओवर द क्वीन क्वीन ऑलवेज गेट ट्रेंच ठीक है दैट्स इट ट्रेंच मोद दूसरा है ट्रेंच मोद जिस विंसेंट टैंज है ना वो अभी अभी टॉक लेटर नाउ वी टॉकिंग अबाउट ट्रेंच फीवर सो हु इज ट्रेंच क्वीन इज ट्रेंच सो फाइव डेज फीवर ट्रेंच फीवर इज दिस फीवर ओके गॉट इट हम्म नाउ वराया फीवर वराया फीवर इज यूजुअली व्हिच वन वराया वराया इज यूजुअली कॉस्ट बाय या हाउ टू रिमेंबर बासी हियर बासी को वराया है बासी इज फ्रॉम ओडिशा ओरिसा बासी फ्रॉम ओरिसा उसका करी पसंद है करी बनाना पसंद है करी शी मेक्स करी बस बासी बाटूनला बसली फॉर्म इज ओरिसा से ओराया ओराया फीवर कैरिसन डिजीज कैरिसन डिजीज हो गया ना वाई यू थिंक टू मच ओराया फीवर तो ये क्या ओराया करी ये दोनों कहाँ पर अच्छा है ओरिसा में अच्छा ओरिसा में कौन है हमारा बासी है बस बासी बेसली फॉर्म इज बाटूनला बेसली फॉर्म इज कैच क्रैच आता है किसका हंसिका को ये रेड स्पॉट किसका आता है हंसिका और क्वीन का आता है और ट्रेंच फीवर कौन ट्रेंच होता है यूजली क्वीन ट्रेंच होता है टेंशन की वजह से उसका ट्रेंच होता है उसके क्या पता है फाइव डे फीवर बोलते हैं इतना इजी so that's what and these are some toughest topics students struggle when they open the micro when ye rikke che ke che baton ka aage to book ko close karke they will sleep or they will run away from the micro but i'm saying those are the easiest things which will score you if you are giving a neat exam you will be in topers list if you are in fmj student you will score good marks and pass the exam okay that's what that is my idea i i believe that i believe that if you guys do this properly you will shine okay no doubt in it or i have fever now Q fever. What's a Q fever? Q fever. Okay, who is the Q? Uh, Q fever. What did he say? Q fever is the one. Uh, uh, I mean, who? 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 Coxiella burnetii. Coxiella burnetii. You know why? Remember, Q Q train is very popular. Queen train or Q train is popular in New York. Whamper, if you see, all these travelers would be mostly burnetiis. Burnetiis, you know, the girls who are very, you know, having this. This uh, uh, the colorful, you know, yellow or I don't know what color, brown color hair. They call burnetiis themselves. Okay, those girls. Okay, so unke pas vector nahi hai, then no rash, no vector and no rash. They keep themselves very clean. Okay, so that's it. Okay, cute train, new or burnetiis travel there. Coxella burnetii. Okay, so no vector inhalation. Burnetii, cox burnetii, whatever burnetii you remember. So that's the thing. Okay, right. That's it. Now, no no rash and no vector. You use the injection of the milk. We told already. All Ehrlichias are tick transmitter. Ehrlichias are tick transmitter. Just fix the thing. And some extra bites here. Uh, rat bite. Now, see, we talk about scratch scratch. So, the rat bite. We the whole got hoga na. So, rat kis kis ka bite. Rat bite kis kis ka. Ek to Moni ka rat bite karta hai. Dusra, hamara Minu ka Minu. Ek Corona bacteria Minu tissue bhi hai. Ek Corona bacteria Minu tissue Minu tissue hai. Corona bacteria Minu tissue. That is what. That is for. That is causes erythrasma. That causes erythrasma. Uska 
बोलना मत वो भी मीनू है ये दूसरा मीनू है दो जिसे एक तो मीनू को रैट पैट करता है दूसरा मीनू को क्या सोडा को पसंद है सोडा को खेलना पसंद है स्पिरुलम माइनस स्पिरुलम माइनस स्पिरुलम माइनस ठीक है हमारा मीनू को क्या पसंद एक तो एरिथ्रस में उधर हो गया मीनू का दूसरा इधर है रैट बैट भी है सोडा को खेलने का बहुत उसका पसंद है बट स्टेप्टर बेसिलस मोनेली फॉर्म इज मोनी का क्या होता है रैट बैट होता है ह्यूमन बैट तो ऑलरेडी टॉक्ड अबाउट एकेनेला किंगेला एकेनेला किंगेला में एकेनेला करोडेंस आता है ठीक है something in you know, a fever giver and all and then the patient has history of contact with the rabbit gibbet agaya to you have to think what francisella tularemi tularemia tularensis which causes tularemia okay very important okay now we are going to another our favorite topic uh, two important topics salmonella and shigella you already know so i'm just going to rush it salmonella you know typhoid fever to salmonella yaad aana chahiye typhoid fever ko most common causes were which was salmonella typhi salmon type is the most common but don't forget we have paratypy a and b also equally important but most common is salmon type transmission speak over root you know this. what is the infective dose always ask it is 10 power 3 to 10 to the power 6 more than 10 to the power 6 kiska hai vibrio cholera vibrio cholera wo bhi question hai aur dusra 10 to 100 kiska hai infective dose shigella most dangerous one itna kam mein ab bahut zyada problem karta hai kon shigella so infective dose are all important it invades the m cell and the fever name is typhoid fever or enteric fever what is this rash called fever the they give history this this one had a, a water outside and then he developed this rash and fever uh, all this question can come see if if outside water it could flu fever fever especially which which fever step ladder step ladder fever and is a rash of this is rose spot which is typical for which one your typhoid fever so first one is what type of fever is the step ladder question 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 step ladder step ladder fever number 1 ho gaya and then relative bradycardia relative bradycardia okay it's a relative bradycardia true bradycardia uh, because of slow this thing it is a tachycardia only type of low volume of so that's what we call as relative bradycardia and we have rose spot when you have fever with bradycardia it's called paget sign paget paget sign okay paget sign GIT में व्हाट टाइप ऑफ अल्सर इट कॉसेस लॉन्गिट्यूडिनल अल्सर लॉन्गिट्यूडिनल अल्सर वो तो दूसरा अल्सर क्या है प्लास शेप तो यू नो आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट इट प्लास शेप अल्सर है तो दैट इज फॉर योर अमीबियोसिस विल जीन पैरासाइट दूसरा है ट्रांसवर्स अल्सर ट्रांसवर्स अल्सर वी ऑलरेडी टॉक्ड इन द टीबी डोंट फॉरगेट टीबी टी40 टी40 एंड प्लास शेप इज फॉर अमीबियोसिस डायरिया इज रैट बट इफ दे हैव व्हाट एरिया पी सूप डायरिया पी सूप डायरिया राइट डायग्नोस्टिक पार्ट मीनिंग इज डायग्नोस्टिक पार्ट बासु बासु टाइफाइड फीवर हो तो ये नाम आपको आना ही चाहिए वैसे डायग्नोस पार्ट का बासु बासु में क्या-क्या होता है बासु फर्स्ट वीक में बासु का क्या फर्स्ट होता है ब्लड कल्चर यूजुअली यू डू ब्लड कल्चर ब्लड कल्चर और बोन मैरो कल्चर और ब्लड क्लॉट्स अप ठीक है एवरीथिंग इज फाइन ओके एवरीथिंग इज फाइन द बोन मैरो इज बेस्ट बट इफ यू डोंट ऑप्शन में ब्लड आएगी तो दैट्स आल्सो राइट सो इन फर्स्ट वीक यू ग्रो इट इन द कल्चर मिली एनी ब्लड वी गोन कैसनेडा अनदर कैसनेडा वेयर वी सॉ ब्रुसेला बिकॉज़ दीस आर द इंफेक्शन व्हिच इज कॉजिंग सेप्सिस व्हिच गो टू द ब्लड इन कॉज बैक्टीरिया सेप्सिसिमिया एंड देन सेप्सिस ऑल द सिम्टम्स सो दैट्स व्हाट व्हेन यू सस्पेक्ट अ ब्लड इंफेक्शन यू विल डू इन कैसनेडा मीडिया बाय फेसिक मीडिया ओके ओके सो यूजुअली दिस कैसनेडा मीडिया आस्ट इन ब्रुसेला बट रिमेंबर फर्स्ट वीक इफ इट्स ब्लड कल्चर सो गोल्ड स्टैंडर्ड दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन सेकंड वीक में ए फॉर एंटीबॉडी डिटेक्शन एंटीबॉडीज को कौन से टेस्ट है विडाल टेस्ट हमारे विडाल टेस्ट इधर आएगा राइट विडाल टेस्ट एंड थर्ड वीक में ये यस एंड यस फॉर स्टूल अ यू फॉर यूरिन ये दोनों इंटरचेंज हो सकता है बोथ 3 एंड 4th में यू कैन इंटरचेंज बोथ आर राइट स्टूल एंड द यूरिन कल्चर यू कैन डू विद द थर्ड और 4th वीक ऑफ टाइफाइड फीवर ओके नाउ सर्जिकल टेस्ट टाइफाइड टेस्ट यू कैन डू व्हिच इज मोर लाइक एलाइजा यू कैन डू टाइफाइड डॉट व्हिच इज मोर लाइक एलाइजा आईजीएम इन डिटेक्शन विडाल टेस्ट वी डिटेक्ट बोथ ओ एंड द एच एंटीबॉडीज ओके इन विडाल वी हैव दिस ट्यूब ऑग्लूटिनेशन टेस्ट यू नो दैट सो यू हैव अ रैपिड स्लाइड टेस्ट एंड देन दिस क्वांटिटेटिव टेस्ट नाउ वी आर ओ एंटीजन एंड एच एंटीजन वी आर ओ एंटीजन एच एंटीजन सो ओ एंटीजन इज द सेम फॉर all typhoid 
Paratyphy A and Paratyphy B using the O antigen, same one, same one to detect the antibody using the same one. H is different. That's also a question. H is different for each, for uh, so, uh, uh, salmonella type B and for Paratyphy A and B different, different. Each is different. And then what is the type of tube you are using? Here you remember HFO, yaad karo. Yaam par remember DCH, DCH. F for what? F for Felix tube. Felix tube is a flat bottom. Aise hota hai. Iska bottom flat hota hai. Iska tube ka bottom aise flat. It is very flat. Okay. Flat hota hai. O antigen antibody detection ke liye. D is what? Dryer's tube. Dryer's tube. C for conical hota hai. It's like this. Conical. Aise hota hai. Tube. Okay. Conical. So that's it. Uh, DCH bottom. Okay. Play Felix for Felix flat. Have, have flat bottom. Dryer's DCH. DCH diploma in child health. Na? So conical bottom. So significant title is more than 100. This is significant here. It's more than 200. That's a question, question. And it is, oh, usually chalky. It's very chalky clumps. Chalky clumps, you see. But H engine, kaise hota? Fluffy. H means it's flagellar, no? H means flagellar antigen. O is actually cell wall antigen. O is cell wall. You're understanding, no? O is cell wall. So H flagellar to fluffy. Hai. Fluffy. So fluffy and woolly. Fluffy, woolly clumps. I say fluffy, woolly. When you see, it looks fluffy and woolly. Then it's positive. So, O positive is always it's the recent infection. If O positive, there is always the recent infection. But here, uh, individual H, ka, any of them, if uh, H type is also a sample type, TAH is also a paratype, BH is also a So, this indicates the zero types of infection. That's it. Okay. Next. So, first set of tubes. In the first set of tubes, we have, we have O. Just first set of tubes will be O. Usually, uh, if you say if you say the first set of tubes, uh, you know it will be like the first set of tubes are like usually this color. Uh, uh, it will be like sort of purplish color, you know, purple color. You can say purple color, okay, purple color. And then these things, these tubes will be sort of, uh, you know, uh, uh, what is this color? Other color. Actually, this should be more blue. O should be more blue. O should be more blue. Okay, blue, sort of blue, blue, blueish. And this will be the H will be like this. Okay. okay, like this. Okay. And then what the main thing is not the main thing is what you're going to see the chalky clumps in one tube. Here, if it is H, then you're seeing for the fluffy woolly appearance. You have to see. So you'll have a set of tubes like this one, two, three, four, one, two. Depends on how much tighter you want to do that much. Okay. Then first set, second set, third and fourth set, you arrange it. And after that, what happened? You will check the results. Is me positive is me. Suppose after sirf O antigen alone positive agar that means it's a recent infection, but can be caused by anything. You don't have uh, type A or something, paratyphy A or the B or something. But if O and TH antibody agar to that is typhoid fever due to salmonella type B. E. Obvious. A H to then it is both O and H means then it is salmonella paratyphy e, paratyphy e. A. And if it is B H then salmonella paratyphy B. Sub H positive ho gaya to H A H B H ho to it's come at the post vaccination. So in vaccination we have all the things because nowadays typhoid fever is caused by all the three. It's increasing. Paratyphy A and B is also increasing. Not only typhoid, paratyphy A and B are also increasing. So we have, when you vaccination has all the things, so it means post vaccination. Very simple, right? So this interpretation is important. Like we have hepatitis B virus ka interpretation, that's also important. Another one important is a Vidal test, how we interpret it. Very easy. If O is there, recent infection, H is there, you're serotyping it. If it depends on whether it is TH or AH, BH, accordingly, you put the typhoid fever is due to this infection. Okay, if it's positive. Or if only H, all H's are coming positive, that means it's a vaccination. Okay. That's it. Sometimes it can be mixed infection also, but when all this H, uh, A, H, B, H, everything comes positive, then it is post All the three comes positive. What is this meant? I already told you we had one general topic. Mein. This is a Wilson Blair. Wilson Blair. I said that Salman ka bodyguard is Salman ka close bodyguard is Wilson. Wilson Blair. Mein. You have black color colonies. Okay, black color colonies. So this is a Wilson Blair. Mein. What about the enrichment media? Who enriches uh, Salman or uh, Salman or Sheila and Idono ka? Who is the one that uh, selenite? Selenite. Selena. Selena is the one who enrichments both Salmonella and Shigella. Remember, it's a question. Salty media, just now I told Wilson Blair media. Jet black colonies, right? Wilson Blair. This Wilson Blair media. Jet black colonies. And 
other salty medias, we have DCA, XLDSS, which is also for Shigala. It's not only for uh, uh, specific for Kaiti, this. But in a, if option, if any of this thing comes, all are right for Salmonella. You can say all, all of them both come. But if they ask only, uh, which is characteristic only for Salmonella, means Wilson Blyer. That's only for Salmonella, uh, Salmonella type. Okay, Salmonella species. And treatment, of course, septrioxone. Septrioxone is the best for typhoid fever. You know that. You must have prescribed to your patients as you throw also. And for one more thing, that is this salmonotypic carrier's lips. It's your favorite, our body my favorite place kya hai? It's your, it's your, which one? Gallbladder. I'm going to put it green, so it is gall bile, okay, gallbladder. It hides inside the gallbladder. Ye apko gallbladder hai toh, ye na, ye salmon fish hai na, iske andar, I, it's salmon, achi se, so I'm just writing salmon fish to see salmonella, but remember, favorite place is, it's your gallbladder, okay. Treatment, so treatment is, you give what carrier killer treatment you give? Amoxicillin or ampicillin. Very simple. Amoxicillin or ampicillin. Amoxicillin, ampicillin, we are not using that much. But the only place we are going to use is this only. Here only. When there is carrier. When you suspect carrier of salmon typhi, you can do this. Okay. Vaccination with two vaccinations. Typhoral and parenchyme. Typhoral is a live attenuated uh, vaccine commonly used of uh, TY21A, we say. It is used, uh, used after age of six. And parental VITY2. TY2, the name proves it says it is for after two years. Just after we not newborns, we were not giving. Only after two years, we're giving this 